Now, editing points is a way to really customize how exactly your shapes look in PowerPoint. And in this file, I have four slides to demonstrate a few things that you can do within editing points. For example, you can move points, you can adjust the curving segments, you can add points or delete points. To edit the points of any object, and going back to the very first slide, let's select the square that's dead center. To edit the points of this object, what we want to do is go up to our Drawing Tools Format tab, and in the Insert Shapes group, you should see an icon that looks like this. And that is your Edit Shape icon, which will open up a menu where you can do a couple of things, including change the shape with any of PowerPoint's predetermined shapes, or you can, of course, edit points. To edit the shapes points, simply click on that button and that'll turn your shape into an object that looks like this with some black squares at each point of the object and red lines to kind of highlight that object. Now the first thing that you can do to customize a shape through the edit points setting is to move points. Now this object is made up of four points and we're going to be moving them so the object will fit inside this little dotted line here. So first to move a point what you want to do is take your mouse and hover it directly over one of those points. Then you'll see your cursor change into something that looks like this. A little square with four teeny tiny triangles at its points. When you see your cursor look like that, that means you can move that point to anywhere on your slide. Simply click and drag your mouse. And I'm going to drag it all the way out to the very tip of that dotted line. And that's all there is to it. Hover your mouse, click, drag. Hover your mouse over a point, click, drag. And finally, hover your mouse over that fourth point and click and drag in. To close or exit the Edit Points feature, all you've got to do is click anywhere else on your slide and your shape will return to normal. So that's one way to edit a shape by moving its points. The next way is to adjust how these segments curve. So for this one, we're going to try to make this square into more of a circle. So first thing we've got to do is select that square. Then we can right click to also access that edit point button. So clicking on edit points. Now there are several ways you can adjust or curve segments. You can do it manually by clicking on any one of the points and notice as soon as you select a point, you get these little white handlebars. Hovering your mouse over one of those little white handlebars, you can click and drag that segment out to add a curve to a portion of that line. Now every single point in an object will have two segments to it. So there's one segment, here's another segment, and with this point it also has two segments. There and there. And as you can see, as we're moving it, the object will become more and more rounded. The longer you make a segment, the wider the curve. The more shallow or closer to the edit point, the more shallow the curve. So you can just sort of click and drag until you get that segment or that curve however you want it. So I'm going to move this out and this segment out. And there you have it. Not quite a perfect circle, but it's pretty close. Now another way you can adjust how a segment curves is by right clicking on any segment. And by the way, to right click, you do need this cursor showing. It looks like a little, it looks like a cross with a square in the center of it. When you see that cursor, what you can do is right click and you'll see a little shortcut menu of all the things that you can do, such as add a point or delete a segment. But there's another option called straight segment choosing that option will remove any curves and just make a straight line between the two points that exist on either side of that segment. Likewise, if you have a straight segment, you can hover your mouse right over the segment, right click and choose the option curved segment, and that will lightly curve that segment between the two points. So many ways to curve a segment manually or by right-clicking and choosing Curved Segment. 
Another way you can customize a shape is by adding points to that shape. So jumping over to our third slide, we've got another square that we're going to add additional points to. So let's right click, open up Edit Points, and just like curving segments, there's a couple of different ways you can add a point. The first way is by hovering your mouse over a segment and clicking and dragging, and that'll automatically add a point. Now adding a point that way will add a little bit of curve to the segments adjacent to the point you've just added. So you can adjust those handlebars like I showed you before, or simply right click and choose straight segment, and that'll make your segment either, well, straight or curved. Another way to add a point to a shape is to hover your mouse over one of the borders or segments of a shape, right click, and choose the option Add Point. And as you can see, that adds a point, but keeps it in line with the shape. So then, once you add it, you will have to move the point if you'd like to adjust it. And there you go, two ways to add points. So I'm just going to add a few more, make that a straight segment, and move it just a little bit more, and add point, and click and drag. And that's how you can add points to a shape. In addition to adding points, you can also remove them. So to make this square into a triangle, let's edit those points by deleting this point right here. So right clicking right on top of that point and choosing the option delete point, that's all there is to it. Removes the point and then connects the other two remaining points, making a nice neat triangle. And that is editing points in PowerPoint 2010. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.